The voting continues in runoff elections, but the result is now clear. The Muslim Brotherhood's Freedom and Justice Party is the overwhelming winner, with close to 50% of the total vote. And it will be the dominant party in Egypt's parliament when it sits later this month. Party leaders say the victory stems from decades of social involvement on the ground. In previous years, social development was the only area in which we could operate, since we were banned from political and public life. It's only recently that our agenda has expanded beyond community outreach. But now the Egyptian people know what their rights are, and they have taken them back. The biggest losers in the elections were the secular revolutionary movements that were born in the demonstrations on Tahrir Square, the popular uprising that led directly to this democratic process. The Revolution Continues bloc earned less than 5% of the vote. It was even beaten by parties still loyal to the former president. Now, as the traffic swirls normally around, some see a threat in the Islamist victory. The fear that the Muslim Brotherhood will impose its Islamist ideas on the nation. But it was the Muslim Brotherhood that urged Muslims to protect Coptic churches during the Christmas period. And prominent Muslim leaders attended Christmas celebrations, a public affirmation of the stated position that national unity is as important as religious identity. We are one hand, chants the Christian crowd, Muslims and Christians together. And the signal here is clear that an Islamist election victory does not necessarily come at the expense of those who are not. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Cairo.